In this video, I show you how to cut audio in Audacity. If you're new to the channel, please consider going down below and subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well, as it helps get this video to more people. And please do watch this guide right until the end to know all of the steps of cutting your audio in Audacity, as I'm showing you two separate methods. And let's go and get into this. Now let's go and continue with this guide. So as you can see, I'm already in Audacity, and I have some audio of which I want to sort of trim and cut, um, so it's all one piece. So I'm showing you how to sort of do the, the start and end and also sort of um, gaps in the middle as well. As I'm, and I'm showing you a few different methods as well. So let's go and get into this. So I'm showing you two separate methods as well. Um, so let's go and continue. So what the first method is simply going and finding a piece of audio you want to go and trim. So I'm gonna go and remove this gap here between the two audios. So all you want to do is find the point of where you want to start. So I'm gonna start about here. And then all you want to do is hold just like this. So hold the left um, mouse down, and there we go, I want it to back, uh, stop there. Then all you want to do is find the delete key on your keyboard or the back key, that also works, and then just go and click it, just like so. So as you can see, I've now made this split, and now it's all one piece. But I still have to start and end. Now here is a separate way of you can go and do this. So all you want to do is simply find where you want it to start. So I want to start about here, and then hold and drag to the end where you want it to stop, so I end about here. And the second method is you can simply go and click on edit and then go down to remove special and simply go and click on trim audio or you can do control T. So click there and boom, as you can see, it then removes the start and end. But that only works when you're doing the start and end. You can't really do it when you're sort of dealing with gaps. But as you can see, we now have it sort of in the middle and I want it to be at zero, of course. So all you want to do is locate the moving tool, which is here. As you can see, it's got two arrows on and it's called the time shift tool. Then all you want to do is make sure it remains highlighted and simply drag it just like this um, to zero, zero, just like that. And then you're gonna get a line and boom, there we go. We've now got our finished audio and we can go and export it and go and use it for whatever we'd like. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.